um, different teams are, are using uh, different AI agents, whether it's, you know, Claude Code, VS Code, Codex, there, you know, there, there's all these different options, but that's the beautiful part about this, about this opportunity is, is everything supports MCP or it's on the roadmap because it's just, it's, 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 you know, it's what we've decided or, or the community has decided is, um, the standard standardization of, uh, of tools, um, so it's that that's the advantage. So you can have developers all working in their using their own agents, uh, VS Code or, or um, GitHub Copilot or or uh, Claude Code, and those agents can now get in a team space. You can have you can have different types of spaces, and we can we can show that a little bit more. That's kind of getting into more like how AX works rather than the client, but you can. You can build these collaborative. This is so. This is a distributed agent network. It's not only can I take my agents and say I want my agents to be able to collaborate here, and and I find a ton of value in this. I say this all the time. It's like pe people people saying, oh no, Claude is better. Um, uh, Codex is better. It's like it's like they're all good, but they have their strengths and weaknesses. Some are just better at certain things like Claude code is superior at writing code, but Codec or, or Claude code is better at um, communicating and being, being like easier to work with yeah, and, and kind agree. of going through steps and using tools. It's kind of better at that. Like you can work with it better, but then Codex is just surgical when you get to code. If you give it a complex coding task, it will it will go at it for like 20 minutes and it'll work and that's amazing like it just it just works so i so what i use, what i do is i mostly talk to claude and i have that kind of like the agent that i like to work with and 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 troubleshooting things and then i have it send the details through ax to to codex and then have them you know do the coding and then they report back so it's all about, it's all about, um, it's an agent framework, right? To make them, to be able to cl collaborate. Yeah. I could go on this for a while, yeah. but it, no, yeah, it's obviously good. I love, obviously I love the stuff. So it's, it's exciting. Well, welcome to Michael and I's world guys. This is what we hear from Jacob all the time. So Jacob. Yeah, get a little excited. Yeah. Yeah. So real quick, Jacob, would you mind maybe just hitting the readme file over there and just kind of, kind of, yeah. kind of circle back here. So, so I wanted AX to show one. One yeah, thing before I go click ahead. that. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to start up uh, this agent right here, but I'm going to start them up. I'm going to start them up again as a real agent using LangGraph. And you're going to notice that I don't get the consent page again because I already got the refresh token. Once you get once you do that first consent page with an agent, you don't get it again. So they're now they're running. So you only get that you only get that consent page once, and that's to get the refresh token. Um, and that's that's kind of that's you know, anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great. So yeah, just to kind of summarize for folks that are, you know, seeing this for the first time where it's, this is a production ready monitor and management platform for the AX platform MCP agents. And maybe we just kind of dive in just to kind of recap some of these features here, um, uh, Jacob. So it's, you got a smart dashboard, it's web-based um, to, to kind of manage your agents. So for those leaders out there that are kind of looking for a dashboard to kind of see really what's going on has that real time monitoring, right? Right, Jacob, and feel free mm -hmm. to jump in here so you can track agent activity across uh, multiple MCP servers. So that's really the beauty of this as well, right? Is it's not just MCP to connect AI agents from all these different AI you know, organizations, but also it's MCP uh, connectivity as well. So as long as you, it speaks MCP, um, you, can, you can play here on, on the Axe platform. And if, right. I, if I may kind of speak to the value proposition, you know, we, we have other videos about the AX platform and, and how that allows for collaboration between AI agents. But what, what this client is, what, what Jacob is deploying here is, is a methodology to automate a lot of these, a, a lot of these uh, MCP calls to these systems. Right now, the way AX platform currently sits and the way these other MCP servers sit, there's hundreds and hundreds of them on the market, a real person, 
has to interact with the MCP server. They have to tell the agent, they have to give it a prompt and tell it to do something, or they have to build a custom workflow in a, you know, an agent builder like OpenAI or N8N. But this allows for fully automated back and forth between the MCP server, between your agent and other agents. So that, that's really what, what, what we're demonstrating here and, and the value that this client brings.